ever wondered why some men fear independent women, especially those who are better off single? Here's a scenario that may shed some light on this. Let's talk about the characteristics of a narcissist. Narcissists often have an excessive need for admiration, disregard for others' feelings, and an inability to handle any criticism. They need to be in control. They need to feel superior. Now imagine a woman who stands strong in her independence, unafraid to be single and content with her life. This woman was in a relationship with a man who displayed narcissistic traits. To protect her privacy, let's call her Jane. Jane's independence and contentment posed a threat to her partner's need for control, shaking his superiority. This fear led to a turbulent relationship and ultimately Jane's realization of her partner's narcissism. As we can see from this case, narcissists often fear independent women because they challenge the narcissist's need for control. So what happens when a woman starts realizing she might be better off single? Well, the narcissist in her life might try to maintain control using tactics like gaslighting and manipulation. Gaslighting is a deceptive strategy where the narcissist makes their partner doubt their own perception of reality. For instance, they may downplay their own harmful actions and instead blame their partner for overreacting or misunderstanding the situation. Then there's manipulation. This could involve emotional blackmail, guilt tripping, or even playing the victim to divert attention from their own harmful behavior. Take for example Jane, a bright independent woman who found herself questioning her own sanity because her partner constantly twisted the truth to suit his narrative. These tactics, however, are just smoke and mirrors. They're designed to keep women second-guessing themselves, to keep them in a state of confusion and self-doubt. But remember, these tactics are nothing more than illusions of control designed to keep you from realizing your worth. What is it about independence that narcissists fear so much? Independence is a powerful tool in the hands of anyone, but for women entangled with narcissists, it can be a lifesaver. It's the antithesis of the control that narcissists crave, the very control they use to manipulate and belittle their partners. But let's delve deeper. Independence isn't just about taking care of oneself or being single. It's about the ability to make decisions and take action based on personal values and beliefs not the whims of someone else. It's about knowing your worth and standing firm, even when someone tries to convince you otherwise. Consider the story of Jane, a woman who found herself in a relationship with a narcissist. For years, he made her feel like she was nothing without him, that she needed his approval to be worth anything. But Jane came to a realization. She was more than her relationship. She was more than the empty compliments and hollow apologies. She was a woman of worth, of strength, of independence. Once Jane embraced her independence, she saw her relationship for what it truly was, a prison. She broke free leaving the narcissist behind and embarking on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. So you see, the narcissist fears independence because it shatters the illusion of control they've so carefully crafted. It exposes them for what they truly are, weak, insecure, and afraid. Independence isn't just about being single. It's about knowing your worth and refusing to let anyone else define it for you. So, how can you recognize a narcissist and effectively deal with them? Great question, and it's one that's vital to answer. Look out for signs of excessive self-importance, constant craving for admiration, a lack of empathy, or a tendency to take advantage of others. These are all classic signs of narcissistic behavior. But how about dealing with them? First and foremost, it's crucial to maintain boundaries. Narcissists thrive on control and establishing clear lines can prevent them from overstepping. Secondly, avoid engaging in their game of manipulation. It's tempting to argue or prove them wrong, but remember that narcissists rarely admit fault or show remorse. Let's consider a case study. Meet Jane. Jane was in a relationship with a narcissist for five years. She felt constantly belittled and manipulated. But Jane decided to take control. She began by recognizing these behaviors for what they were, signs of narcissism. She then established boundaries and took steps to distance herself from the toxic relationship. It wasn't easy, but Jane successfully managed to escape from her narcissistic relationship, regaining her independence and self-worth. This is just one example, but it proves that it's possible to reclaim your life from a narcissist. It's not about winning or losing, it's about understanding, setting boundaries, and taking back control. Remember, 
Knowledge is power. Recognizing and understanding narcissistic behaviors is the first step towards reclaiming your independence and self-worth.